Hey guys, so we're doing the first haul inside our new house. We're really, really excited. And we went out and got a few things that we needed for the new house. I have now a lot of cabinets that we did not have in the old house, which we absolutely love. Alex and I are really, um, we really care about like organization and stuff. And in our last place, it was just, there wasn't enough cabinets and it was very hard to organize the things we had, especially since we had his apartment move into my place. So it was a little bit too small. So it was a little hard to organize. So in this home, before we even get anything inside the kitchen, I wanted to make sure that we're organized all the drawers and inside the kitchen. So I went to Marshall's and we got a few things. And then I also went to Bath and Body Works and got a few things just for fun. So I'm gonna share it and include it in this haul. Um, so, I'm just gonna go through everything that I picked up at Marshall's and then we'll go into Bath and Body Works. So the first thing that I really wanted to do was organize kind of the drawers and everything inside the cabinet. So I got these organizers and we had something similar in the other home but it was more of a like net metal look and I didn't really um, want to continue having those organizers so I wanted to get something a little bit different and just clean. Um, so this brand is Made Smart, and this is the utensil tray. So it's just white and these, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little rubber interior, which is gray. And I think it will look nice in our cabinets. Then we also got this one from the same brand and same, um, I guess, collection. And this one is called the Junk Drawer Organizer. And I definitely want to steer away from having a junk drawer in this home. We did have one in the last place and I hated it. But I know there's a place that you need to just keep miscellaneous things. So that's what this organizer will be for. Then we have another one of these trays. And these are more for kind of the extras. Not necessarily our silverware, but more of um, our spatulas and our can openers and all the extras and then this one will be for our utensils and um, our silverware so I think this is perfect it's gonna look um, very clean and organized so I'm excited about that then so for inside the refrigerator we have a lot of different compartments inside the refrigerator right now there's nothing in there but um, but champagne <laughs> But we have a lot of different compartments, which is going to make it easier for us to organize the fridge. But I really wanted just a clean look even inside the refrigerator. So I purchased these bins and they are the brand Kitchen Bins, B-I-N-Z. And I just think it'll give it a very clean look inside the refrigerator, especially because we have a lot of snacks for the girls that they can just kind of come and pick up. So I got this size. Then I also got this. This one I got specifically for our cheese. We are obsessed with cheese in this house and we always have shredded cheese. So the bags will fit perfectly in here. And we usually have four at a time. So this would be perfect for that. Then we have two smaller ones, similar to the one I just showed, but these look like this. And I thought these were perfect for snacks for the girls. And then I got two of these which is kind of a medium size. And this one is $7.99, got two of these. So these are $7.99. These small ones are $2.99. So this one's $2.99. This larger one was $6.99. And they have these little handles for you to be able to kind of pull out. And then this smaller one was $5.99. And the tray organizers, to give you an idea with the pricing, these were $7.99. Wonder if they were all the same price. Actually, this the junk drawer one was $6.99. And the silverware one was also $6.99. So that is it for the organization. Then I picked up these sponges for just to wash our dishes. And these just seem nice and it says scrub sponge for frying pans. So pick those up. These, it was a two pack for $2.99 and they're microfiber. So I thought that was 
unique. I've never seen anything like that and wanted to give them a try. And for sponges, I usually just change them out because and try different brands, different um, types every single time because since I, it's not one, a huge investment and two, I know I'm gonna end up throwing it out in a month or so. It doesn't really matter. So I like trying new brands every time I pick them up. Um, and then I also picked up the girls, these cute little sandals. Um, they were on sale and they saw them and wanted sandals for just around the house, but obviously they can even wear these outside. And they were on sale for $10. So I got Audrey a pair and then I also got Ari a pair. So they each, they can match in their little sandals because they always match. And then I also picked up at Marshall's these um, velvet hangers, which is what I have in my closet currently. But Alex has a few different hangers, so I want to ensure we have the same hangers throughout the entire closet. And these were, I believe, $12.99. These were $9.99 for a set of 25, and they're just the velvet, velvet skinny hangers, and these have like a gold finish to them. Okay, so now for the fun stuff, I got a few things at Bath and Body Works. And um, the first candle I got is over here actually, is Marshmallow Musk. And they have this new collection and maybe it's not so new, but I haven't been to Bath and Body Works in a little bit. And I love the look of this. It looks almost like marble, very similar to my tiles as well as my counter. It looks kind of just white on camera, but it actually has a similar finish, kind of gray um, finish to it as well. And this one, I was kind of on the fence about, I think it smells amazing, but I'm the type of person that likes candles that smell very intense. And I don't like candles that you can barely smell. Um, so this one was kind of in between it smells really good and clean and it's just, I love the smell of it, but I'm just afraid it's not gonna be intense enough for me. But wanted to give it a try. Um, the representative at Bath & Body Works or the person that was working there actually said, just give it a try. You can burn it if you don't like it, you can bring it back, which I've never brought back a candle. But again, I love the look of this. Then I got a eucalyptus spearmint from the Aromatherapy Collection. And I love eucalyptus spearmint, especially while I'm cleaning. I absolutely love this scent. Um, and I got the aromatherapy, which I haven't in the past. And I've had this candle multiple times, but I've had the one that's all green and it's just, I think it's called eucalyptus mint. And they said this one's a little bit stronger. So I picked this one up. Then this uh, collection again got me. I got mahogany teak wood, which I've had in the past. And I absolutely love it. And um, I got two of these actually. I got the high intensity one and this one. But again, I love how this looks. So I picked this one up. And this one's the uh, same one, but high intensity. And you can definitely smell the difference, but I wanted to give it a try and see if there was a big difference between the high intensity and the, the regular one. So I think I have two more candles and I had, they had a big sale because they had um, candles for, they were $10 off and then I had spoken to them and said, well, yesterday I went to another Bath and Body Works and they were $12. So $10 off still leaves them at $14.50 because I believe they're 24, yeah, they're $24.50, so $10 off leaves them at $14.50. And I said, yesterday I went and I saw them for $12. And they said, well, we can give you a 20% off um, discount with your entire purchase. So I ended up getting them for $11. So I was like, even cheaper than I saw them, so it's great. This one, I think, is perfect for the bathrooms. And it's sea salt and linen. And it's also from kind of a new collection, and I like that. And then the last candle I got was... Another mahogany? I think I got these by mistake. I just really like this, but I think I got this by mistake and I got two mahogany teak wood. But again, I love, love, love the scent. This is probably one of my favorites, so I'm okay with getting two. So I got two of these. So that's it for the candles. Then I got one of these um, soaps for the restroom downstairs. We have a half bathroom downstairs and then three upstairs. Um, so this one I just got for the, the one downstairs that's kind of a half bathroom. 
And this is the eucalyptus spearmint, again from the aromatherapy collection. And then I got the girls a few bath bombs from Bath and Body Works. I usually get them some from Lush, but these were on sale. They're normally $6.95 and they were 75% off plus to 20% off. So they ended up being about a dollar or a dollar ten, a dollar twenty. Um, and this one is a color changing bath bomb. So you throw it in and the water turns colors. This one just said warm vanilla sugar. And it's kind of it, it's kind of a tan color, but then it has these gold little specks to them. And honestly, they just enjoy bath bombs. So, <laughs> um, and then this last one that I picked up was a thousand wishes, and this is just bath fizzy, not bath bombs, I guess. This one as well. Yes, they are bath fizzies. And this one's just purple with the gold little. I don't even know what they are. Little rocks. And sorry, got a message. And I'm filming on my phone actually. I have been filming on my phone for quite a bit. I no longer use my camera. <laughs> and then lastly, I picked up this antibacterial. I'm obsessed with antibacterial. I use it multiple times a day. People tell me it's bad. It's just a habit. I hate having like that cream finish to my hands. I love it, them being just dry and clean. So. <laughs> I picked this one up and it's also the eucalyptus spearmint. Hello. Obviously you see a, a, um, a pattern here. I'm obsessed with eucalyptus. Here, come, so I can carry. One, two, three, oh. Say hi. Hi. Do you yes. like the new house? Uh-huh. Oh. I, my butt, my butt, my butt. <laughs> Is this a pattern? Is this a pattern? No, I'm just saying I like that smell. Smell it, what do you think? Good. Yeah, look what I bought you guys. What? Are we gonna put bubble bath here? Uh, maybe. I Which one do you want to do first? Uh, let me see. That one. Okay. <laughs> okay, say bye. Bye. So we're not, wait, wait, don't finish. Um, we're gonna end this vlog, but let me know what is your favorite Bath and Body Works candle. Um, because I would love to try new ones. Smell this one, what do you think? Good. Yeah. It feels like Alex's perfume. It smells like Alex's perfume. <laughs> it does smell manly, this one. Mahogany teakwood. I know, I know, I know. Um, mahogany, mahogany teakwood smells very manly. So uh, let me know what is your favorite candle from Bath and Body Works. Leave it down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.